so 102. Look at that. Now that is a garage sale sign. Morning. Hi, morning. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. You're asking uh, 16 on your four trucks. Would you do 10 for all four? Let me double check. Okay. You know what? That's fine. It doesn't matter. That's okay. Fine. I appreciate it. No what? You said yeah. Okay, let me pay you. I'll keep looking around. Sure. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. sir. Morning. Hi, Good. How are you guys doing? I'm gonna buy your two uh, little cart drawer things. They're two dollars each. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You have any uh, baseball bats? Uh, I have little ones. Yeah. Do you have the uh, gaming system that goes with we don't. the games? No. I'm gonna make a pile over here if that's all right. Yeah, no, no All right, I'm gonna settle up with you here. Okay. I've got 10, 11, 14, uh, 14, 50, 15. Uh, these are five, so that's 20. 23, this is four, 27, that's a dollar, 28. And then those. And then what did you want for that? Dollar. Dollar? Yeah. Okay, 37. 37. And I paid you for the drawers already, didn't I? Yeah, yes. I paid you for those right away. Okay. 37. The club you're asking 64. Would you do 35 on those? About 40. 40 it is. So I owe you 77. Tell you what, the rest of the games you've got on the table, would you do $23 for what you got over there? I think there's maybe only... Probably 20 games to make it even $100. I don't know how many Yeah, if you want to see how many you've got. So it'd be $23 for the 31 games. Oh, 25. There it is. So 102. Appreciate you working with me. Yeah, no, no problem. Okay. There's 100 and there's two. Um, if it's all right, I'll just back my van in and load everything up. Yeah, that's fine. That'll make it a little easier. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you take 10 for your turntable? What's the for? 15. Yeah. All right, thank you. There you go. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. You too. How much is this? Thank you. 
get rid of things. You How know? about three bucks? Just three? You tell me. I mean, you told me to name a price. Give me five and you can take it. Do you Let, need a bag? Let's split it. Let's call it four. How's that? Okay. All right. Thank you. you. Um, sure. Yeah, if you got one. How much is uh, this stuff here? I've got a little camera and the little Joey Votto thing. Price on there. Couldn't find one. That's probably like 10 bucks. And if you buy that, you can have that. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that, sure, thank you. What do we have here? Schwinn Airdyne, I've sold two of those in the last probably month two months and both times i sold them i got i it was 125 dollars for them let's see how much they're wanting for it it's too bad hi hi i'm gonna buy your uh bike um, is there, I don't think it, uh, it'll fit in my vehicle. Can I come back for it? Of course, Can I pay yeah, for it? I'll just push it back up. Okay. Uh, you know the electronics do not work. It's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. No problem. Okay, great. <laughs> my three year old will like it. Aw, sweet. Well, she was only asking $10 on that Schwinn Airdyne. Unfortunately, the battery compartment had a lot of corrosion, so the display wasn't really working. But for ten dollars, I went ahead and bought it. I can probably still get, I think, between like fifty and seventy-five for it, without the display working. And if I spend a little time on it, cleaning it up real good, I might be able to get it working. She was really nice too. She said I could store it there and pick it up later because I've got a full load right now, and I don't think I could get that thing in there. All right, guys, back home. This was a fantastic day of garage sales. I just got a lot of really good stuff. One of the first sales I went to. They just had a lot of awesome stuff and I was being kind of careful with how I was going to go about the negotiation because there was a set of golf clubs that had like 60 bucks on. It was just a little too high and I saw they had a bunch of other stuff that I wanted. I normally just bundle stuff. I make a pile and we kind of work out a price, but most of it was just so cheap that I just couldn't see myself really talking down. So I made a pile of a bunch of stuff paid their prices they were asking, and then did the negotiation on the golf clubs and some of the other stuff. So more than one way to go about it, but sometimes when people see you're willing to buy a lot of stuff and you kind of put some cash in their hand, they're willing to negotiate on some other things. So here are the golf clubs. It is a tailor-made bag, um, King Cobra irons. This is like an old Callaway driver, probably not worth a whole lot. A couple of tailor-made woods and an Odyssey putter. Anytime you guys buy a set of golf clubs, always make sure you go through the bag. More often than not, I find loose change, I find extra balls. I mean, you just don't know what you're gonna find in these things. Got the Sansui turntable at one sale. It's the model PL50. They were asking 15 and I got it for 10. Sansui is a really good name in electronics. They're more so known for the receivers, but pretty much all Sansui stuff has some value. And this thing is in good condition too. It's still got the needle and everything. I'm hoping it works. If it does, I think I can get right around a hundred bucks for it. This Singer sewing machine, it is, what is it, the 301? It still has the instructions, a lot of the accessories. I looked up prices and they were really high, like a couple hundred, three hundred dollars. I was shocked. She said it still works. Um, they were only asking 10 bucks. I didn't, I didn't talk them down. I just put it with my pile and paid the price and then negotiated on some other stuff later. Yeah, the 301A. This thing is in excellent condition. This guy right here, I just thought he was really cool. Got some really good detail. He's got like a little stubble beard going. He's rocking a cell phone, a laptop. It's like a big mess of stuff like chips on a computer his little shirts showing his belly sticking out like a video game controller this thing is really neat 
How to be the type of nerd that girls love. Do you speak MS-DOS? That's hilarious. It's made by G. Forcino, I think. It says Paris, and it's numbered. I could be mispronouncing that name. I asked her what she wanted, and she said, name me a price. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I said, $3, and she's like, that's all? It's $3? And she came back with 5 and we settled on 4 So I don't know what he's worth, but... He's definitely worth $4 to me. That thing is just super cool. I've got these two Sterilite uh, containers, three drawer. They both have wheels. They're asking $2 each. So when stuff's priced that cheap, I, I don't bother talking them down. I wasn't going to offer them a dollar for that, you know. I mean, they're like $30 in the store, I think. But these are going to be good organization uh, for me down here in the basement. And then this little Mickey guy. Little snow globe. I got him for a buck. I just sold a kid's soccer jersey on eBay the other day for like $22. So when I saw these for two bucks a piece, I went ahead and picked them up. I don't know much about clothes and I don't know anything about soccer, but I thought these were cool and for two bucks a piece, I thought there was some money to be made. I don't know what any of these teams are. The munch, munchin. I'm probably mispronouncing these. Got a couple of Department 56 pieces at that one sale. I don't think these are worth a lot, but I think there's money to be made. This one was three dollars. It's like a haunted treehouse Halloween thing. I've done pretty well selling Halloween decorations. I've done a lot better selling Halloween decorations and Halloween pieces than I have Christmas pieces. Got these Reds pennants at the first sale of the day. They were like 25 cents each, so I was all over that. It's a Barry Larkin one. Inaugural year of interleague play. That's interesting. 1997. Here's just like a vintage riverfront. And then here's a 1995 Central Division champion pennant. I got these two things for 10 bucks. She didn't have them priced, so she priced the... Um, when I asked her how much she wanted, she told me like 10 for the camcorder and then she was just going to throw this in with it. So I was all about that. If you guys have not sold handy cams, keep an eye out. Uh, a lot of them have some really good value. Canon brand, Sony brand. You can definitely get some good money for them. This is a JVC. I didn't look it up. I'm not sure that it's worth a whole lot. If I had to guess, probably $30, $40 maybe. I got this Xbox steering wheel for a dollar. I've sold this before. I think I got around 15 or 20 bucks for it. They had a ton of video games at that first sale. No consoles, but a lot of pretty decent games. I got a big stack of PSP games that were all a dollar each. I think most of these probably aren't anything special, but there's a couple that looked interesting to me. It's like Dynasty Warriors 2. Another Dynasty Warriors, another Dynasty Warriors. This is a Final Fantasy. Usually what I do with video games is I'll pull out the the ones that are selling for like $10 or more, and then I'll just lot up the rest of these and put them on, you know, as like a group. All right, there was also a whole lot of Xbox and Wii games. I think they had them priced at like $2 each, something like that. And I just bundled them there at the end and gave them like I think 25 bucks for about 30 games or something like that. A lot of these really aren't worth much. I think I'm gonna be lotting a bunch of these together. Destiny, Remember Me. Yeah, I think I think most of these games are right around like the $3 value, $4 value, something like that. But I do think there's a little bit of money to be made here. Like I think I've got three or four Halo games, so I might group some of those together. Well, that's interesting. This is a sealed one. Gears of War and then a rare replay. That's interesting. That might have some value because it's Xbox One. Some Borderlands, Battlefield. Yeah, I think most of these are not going to be super valuable, but at the price of my, I got them at, I think I'll make some money. Rock Band for the Wii. I think this Beatles Rock Band has a little bit of value, maybe like seven or eight bucks. Got this baseball glove for 50 cents. If you guys aren't looking at sporting goods, definitely take a look because 
You can almost always get them for cheap, and they're very common. You just see them a lot. I don't know if I'll put this on eBay because it's not a super valuable glove. This is like a $10 glove. Usually what I do with these is I'll wait till I get, you know, a bundle of sporting goods, and I will take it into Play It Again Sports. If you've got a Play It Again Sports store near you, give them a call or stop in and talk to them. See what they're buying, what they're not buying. You know, build that relationship because there's a lot of money to be made on sporting goods. Anytime I'm at a really nice house where I can just tell that a lot of the stuff is nice in general, I take a long, hard look at their clothes and their shoes. And that's what I did at that one sale where I bought a bunch of stuff. I saw these boots. They were wanting $5. I saw the brand was Sorel or Sorrel. I'm probably mispronouncing that. But I looked them up and used their selling for like between like $50 and $75 or something like that. So I was all over those at five bucks. Here's these trucks I got at that one sale. There's four of them. They had $4 each on them. Uh, I offered 10 for all four and they took it. A couple of these I don't think are super valuable. This one right here is nothing special, I don't think. This one is kind of cool, Iron Horse. It's an Ertl. And then two fire trucks. This is a Nylent. It's definitely metal, it's got some weight to it. And then this one's probably the most valuable. This is a Tonka. And it's got the big ladder and bucket and everything. This one might be worth around 30 or 35. And then here is the other Department 56 uh, figure I got. I doubt that it's new, but the fact that they've got all the packing material and everything, I think will help it. It was only four bucks. If you guys have been out and about hitting garage sales, finding cool stuff, please comment below. Let me know what you've been finding. I would love to hear about it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.